you know, I, I heard a story about your dad giving you know the whole MP3, the whole connection with um, is it Jim Jones at Uptown. Oh, James 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 Jones, James Jones yeah. at Uptown. So people don't know is that he was an A and R at Uptown. You sent yeah. him your demo, and he he sort of brought you brought you along and stuff. Yeah. How, as a Christian, because, you know, I, I know how faith, even now, plays a big part in your life, moving into New York and then having your faith and then having the music industry, how did you sort of separate, okay, Stop. I'm in it, but I'm I not going to be... I, I definitely was exposed to things that I definitely was not exposed to previously. And so I remember living with James Jones and... You know, I was I was in church five days out the week, and now and then all of a sudden I'm I'm living in Hackensack, New Jersey, with James at his apartment, and I'm seeing women come in and out of his apartment every day. It was like it was completely different, and I was young, and it was just like you know it was kind of everything was happening so fast. Um, but they kind of everybody that knew about me, they knew I kind of had certain standards. Okay. Um, when it came to like you know, sessions and working with people and everything, you know, you can't, you can't tell anybody what to do, but you can also, but you can have certain rules and lay those rules down in your own domain, right? In your, in your facilities. And so that's what I would do. And um, people had to respect it. Um, but I had to, yeah, I had to navigate a lot of my faith throughout my career. You know what I mean? It's always been one of those things where, you know, you're in the, the industry, you know, wicked industry. <laughs> you know, uh, it's very wicked, you know, and um, but I think we've done we've done I think we've done a good job by by not only just being in the industry and 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 I guess being a light um in the industry, but also witnessing the people in the industry and praying for people in the industry wow. and being used by God in every so many people's lives, whether it was James Jones, by the way, James Jones. My dad prophesied on James Jones for our first meeting and told him he was going to be a pastor. And I was kicking my dad under the desk and telling him to shut up. And, and James Jones laughed at my dad. And sure enough, like five years later, James Jones became a pastor in Atlanta. Wow. Uh, and then, you know, me and my father praying for Michael Jackson, you know, uh, Whitney Houston singing at my dad's church, uh, me praying with Mary J. Blige. And Mace getting saved through me witnessing to him. Wow. So like so many, so many, so many moments and so many sessions that I've literally, some people, you know, um, well, when, the, when the Chris Brown and Rihanna thing happened, you know, I was sent to Orlando to kind of be somewhat like a, like a life coach to Chris. Wow. You know what I mean? And, and when Justin Bieber was, had his little moments, I was sent to go on tour with Justin to try to help him out. So, like, people in the industry kind of call on me because they know that character about me, which is which is great. You know what I mean? That's why I always say, like, um, um, the, the, ministry, the industry has somewhat become, like, my ministry in a sense, right? Just, like, you know, without even trying, it's just, like, people know our character and know what we stand on. So I get those calls a lot, like, hey, man, so-and-so needs, needs someone, and we thought about you. Can you come pray with them? Or da 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 And I've also made it very um, um, intentional to be bold in my faith and not worry about what people think about, you know, whether they, oh, that's corny, or if they don't believe, like, I don't care. Like, it's just like, okay, this is what I stand on. This is more what I believe in. You, you could you could work with me or not, but I'm just letting you know this is what it is. You know, yeah. so, yeah. How, how does that, um because I know you had a, 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 when I look at a lot of credits from songs you've written, it was yourself, it's Fred, LaShawn. I mean, does it change the lyrics, contents of the song, Say My oh. Name, or, or Boys, My Anything? Oh. Totally. I mean, if you look at, if you look at like, I would probably say 99.9% .9 of the catalog, you're not really going to see songs that make you say, oh, that's filthy. That's nasty. Oh, there's a bunch of cursing in that. You're just not going to get that from my catalog. You know, mo you know, most of the stuff that was actually written by uh, myself, LaShawn, Fred, my, my team is, 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 is usually just wholesome songs with like, concepts back then it was more so like you treated me wrong because that was like the end thing for female empowerment back then right yeah. um but you don't get like just like bad songs the only time it gets like a little sketchy is when you start working with like let's say rappers who 
who, you know, you can't write their lyric for them, you know, <laughs> they're talking about their own personal situation yeah. or whatever. So it gets a little bit like, oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't, I didn't, you know, expect it to go that route. Or, you know, I always say like the one thing that I, that if, any, if I had any regrets, the regrets I would have is like when you do a song and you have no control over the video and then they make a video and you're like, man, I, I can't even watch that. I can't even show that to my, my child. Yeah. You know, like why did they have to go that route with the video? It wasn't <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be that. You know, they want to be super creative, and and now it's explicit, and now it's vulgar, and that's not what that song was intended to do. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I wish it was like I had more control over being able, like, yo, if you if you want me to produce the record, then I gotta have I have to have final final say so over the video <laughs> you used to make. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> that'll never that'll never happen, but I wish, you know. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.